the war fast approaching the Indian Empire, it's natural enough that the pomp and splendor of that fabulous land should now give way to the march of armed men as the forces of defense gather their strength. Already, well over a million volunteers have been enrolled in the fighting services. But India's war contribution most certainly doesn't stop there, for India's war industries supply a big percentage of her own requirements in military equipment. Her cotton industry, for example, has been harnessed to the needs of the moment and geared to the rhythm and tempo of war. With a population of nearly 400 million, there is an unlimited source of willing manpower and woman power for the work. It's largely a matter of training and great strides have been and are being taken in this direction. Groups of Indians have received technical instruction in England and besides, there is a large training center at Delhi. And steel. Depending on the supplies of iron ore and coal from Bihar and Orissa and Bengal, India's steel production has been forging ahead. Two million tons of pig iron, one million, two hundred thousand tons of steel a year, these figures are on the increase. So India is contributing not only her fighting men, but also the equipment for their campaign. Vehicles, engines, guns and shells. And rubber, especially tires for war vehicles. ships too. Minesweepers, patrol vessels, corvettes, Indian workmen building Indian ships with Indian steel, and many other war weapons besides. A great effort which will yet be increased, for the potential effort of India's 400 million is colossal. <laughs> 